Kyriakos Mitsotakis launched into his second term as prime minister literally just hours after his re-election, indicating a quick continuation of the policies that brought Greece back from the brink over the last four years. He warned that there's more to be done. I am committed to make big changes and big reforms in the second four-year term which the country needs. We have a strong mandate to act on those big changes. Top of the list is the ongoing restructuring of the economy designed to attract more investments. The new government's goal is to recover Greece's investment grade status in order to make borrowing money cheaper. The new government also wants to raise public wages to stimulate the economy in the hopes that the private sector will follow. But the biggest challenge for Prime Minister Mitsotakis will be to deliver on the promises that he made to the Greek people, a nation that after years of crippling austerity now wants some normality. During his first term, Mitsotakis did deliver. Unemployment fell and the economy started to grow after years of recession, which is why many voters put their trust in him for a second term. But many are still struggling to get by, mainly due to the high cost of living. For others, the hope of a better future is still far from tangible. No matter who won, I don't think it would make a difference. At least this is what I think. Moving forward, let us hope that things will turn out for the best. The election took place days after a devastating shipwreck left dozens dead and hundreds missing off the coast of the Peloponnese, raising questions once again about response management and the competence of the authorities. The specter of pushing back migrant boats under Mitsotakis's watch. Allegations that the Greek government strongly deny look set to follow the prime minister into his second term. Filio Contrafuri, TRT World, Athens.